Oh yeah, we back, baby. Me and Amir, we back. I know y'all been hitting me up a lot, wanting me to get these videos back out, man. I just been hella busy, just really hadn't felt like doing them. You know, but um, needed a break. Needed a break from everything. That's why I took six weeks off from the gym. Now I'm rejuvenated, I'm feeling good. So you guys have been asking about my YouTube channel, um, Road to the Olympic videos. Here we go, we back, baby. How you doing? Good. Yeah? Snail. Hang on, nothing, same old shit. <laughs> All right. Bring it down one, Chris. This need to come over some. Hmm? Bitch need to come over some. All right, so we 12 weeks out, man. 12 weeks to the big O. It's been a minute since I've been doing these videos. You gotta get my confidence back up, because you know, I used, to, I used to be afraid of, or shy to talk on camera. I used to hate to watch myself talk on camera. But thanks to you guys, social media, you have made me come out of my shell. Now y'all see what the blade is really like. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Food poison your ass to be on the toilet. Yeah, I know. Something's wrong. Yeah, man, what you talking about? What, what you talking about? Your finger locked up for? Where you get your finger being locked up from? No, real. I mean, just cramping up. Yeah, no. You, you saw that's oh, from no, food poisoning. Just, no. Okay, did you? That's that's. So you ain't throw up or nothing? No. Well, you ain't had no food poisoning. Sorry, my bad. He he said he had food poisoning, no. but then throw up. I did shit. He just hand is cramped. His hand just cramped no, up. No, no, no. <laughs> Everything is, is short. Hey, that's what you said. No, I said. I went to have breakfast this morning, and I said I cramped it up. No, his arm, <laughs> forearm, back arm. So he think he got food poisoning because he started cramping I up. I don't know what I got. <laughs> you Something wasn't right. Don't try to change it up now, Chris, because your camera. <coughs> 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 Yeah. All right, so we're finally getting back in here, man. Getting back up to full strength. After the Arnold Classic, I took six weeks off from the gym. I didn't go to the gym at all. I didn't see the gym. And um, I hadn't had, I haven't, I really hadn't had the luxury to do that in the past few years because I've always been doing so many damn shows. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I've been doing my whole career. It's taking, you know, four to six weeks off from the gym, detoxing my body and whatnot. That's why I've lasted so long. So guys, you can't be afraid to take time off. I took those six weeks off from the gym, kept my food wheel high. Guess what? I probably didn't lose more than five pounds. So well, that's the first time I ever did that too. So usually I start eating a lot of junk food or whatever. And um, it fucks my appetite up. So what I mean by that is, 
when you eat a lot of junk food, you can't eat a lot of food. So I was eating junk, junk food, and then usually I eat junk food, and then only get like three, four meals down for that day. Then I started losing weight. But this time, for the very first time in my career, I stayed on my contest prep and still eating some junk every now and again, you know, when I wanted to. But I made sure I got my six meals in first. And I kept my weight up for the very first time, man. So I came back to the gym. I was still about 245. Now I'm up to 265. And um, the heaviest I've been in, I can't remember the last time I've been this heavy. So that just tells me that my body's responding really well. And um, you guys gonna see a big difference in my physique versus early in the year because I took some, you know, I took that time off. I just haven't been able to take time off. So that's the advantage to me this year, even keeping my meals high and not losing much weight. Because usually when I lose weight, like in the past, I would lose about 20 pounds. So then I had to play catch up. So if I'm down to 230 versus 245 like I am now, I mean like when I first came back, I got to catch up those two, two to, uh, 245, that's 15 pounds first, then go from there and start putting on size again. So I came in the game ahead of the schedule when I was able to keep that 245 up. Why are you always bringing that thing over for me? You don't want to know. <laughs> no, I want to know. know. Let them know why you bring this over for me. Because I don't know. Shut your ass up. <laughs> Shut your ass up. No, they don't. <laughs> I, I got him started talking, I see. Yep. Okay. Chris. Look who's strolling up in here. <laughs> That's you. What's up, dog? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You. you 
You, you, go, you my age now already, what you mean? <laughs> we the old boys on the block. <laughs> They're trying to knock us off, Sean. Young guys now, you know? There's a lot of flapping going on out there, huh, Sean? Yeah. I can hear my swan song going out there. Y'all hear him? Heck, <laughs> Ted. VIP, you ain't allowed in here. In? VIP. What's, your <laughs> What's up? I'm okay. I'm off today. Yeah, she just when I first met this girl right here, she walked up on me just like that. You're on the road to the road? Yep. Go. She walked up on me like, who are you? What you gonna do? Road, and we've been go. friends since. <laughs> 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 See? <laughs> Get your, she ghetto too. She's from the hood, y'all. She's from Compton. That's why she walked up on me like that. I know you're not talking. See, look. Bring my PCR back. She ain't scared. She don't play. Feel right. <clears throat> the seat too high or something. No? Okay. Yeah? I feel it in my wrist. No, 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 no. <clears throat> What's up, dog? Look at the OG in the house, y'all. OG. The real OG. The real OG in the house. What's up, dog? You know, he, back in the day, they used to call him Chris Kamir. <laughs> what, what they call you now? He think he's Spanish or something. Call me eight now. What kind of shit is that? <laughs> Y'all already know who this is. <laughs> Silvio. All right, all right, yeah. Say hello to the YouTube channel. Hey, YouTube. It's my brother, you know. Yeah. The time is up. <laughs> you know what time is it? What time is it? Time for Mr. Olympia. Go get it. Who gonna get it? Go get it. Me? Is that not your land, yo? This is, go get it. He's, oh, he's going to say, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they didn't write anybody's name there. Yeah. No, you're right. Uh-huh. Remember what you told me? What? When you come to U.S., 
You see that red line? Even if they call you with me, bring your best. Damn right. Right. This is what I told Silvio. Right. When I first met, he was scared to come over here. He was scared to compete. I was really. He was scared. What did he say? He told me to come over here. I seen him compete overseas. I was like, boy, if you don't bring your black ass over here and compete. <laughs> 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 I, said, I said, yeah. I said, these guys are too big. And I was just 178 pounds. I, I took his side by there. Ronnie came around to him. Ronnie took up. Look, boy, you're good. I said, you just What, so, what Ronnie said? Hey. Boy, you're good. Yeah. We, we, we love you to death, yeah. but you gotta say bottom of my YouTube channel. I gotta get this set in. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I am not. Speak too many languages. Huh? I'm there. I will just. Huh? Tell me these languages. Oh, he want me to tell you your language. Okay. I, do, I have to get my set in right now, so you have to go over there and do yours. Okay. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> I, I see the language. I see the language. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Chris. Stuff that I normally don't do. I'm gonna train some abs for the Olympia this year. So we will see how that goes, man. See, I'm dragging along here. I usually take my shake to the gym with me, but I actually forgot it this morning, so we had to rush home. Rush home and um, so I can make it now. So post-workout is always a shake for me. And I'm supposed to drink a Gatorade 25 minutes later, but I just do it together. So George, now you know what I'm doing. <laughs> This is my protein that I love, man. And this, this is by far the best protein I've ever had. It's Hydro Whey Protein. It has digestive enzymes already in here. So you ain't gotta worry about, you know, taking a digestive enzyme and all that crap. I've always been big on protein powders. You know, I always drink at least one a day. Um, but what's so good about this one right here is, when I drink it, within an hour, hour and a half, I'm ready to eat. Versus when I do the other ones back in the, in the past, all the other uh, protein um, shakes that I've drank, you know, they keep me bloated and full for about two hours, two and a half, three hours. You know what I'm saying? So digestive enzymes definitely works, cuts my time in between, you know, meals, you know, shorter so I can eat faster. There you go. Hide your way. <clears throat> All right, so just finished my workout. Uh, we did uh, chest today. And uh, really killed it, man. Bombed it out. And, um, <clears throat> and that's it. Now I think I'm going to just take it easy, man. Probably take a nap and just relax a little bit. So we'll holler at you guys in a little bit. All right.